Welcome to the another lesson of Power Query. In this lesson, we will be learning how do you combine multiple sheet in one final sheet so that you can create pivot table and apply some other formula. But the change will be the sheet data will be normal means it will not be in a table mode. So here is my data which is not in a table mode. It's a normal data. So I have four sheets UAE, Egypt. Oman and Kuwait. So the first step for me will be converting all these four sheets into table. There is no shortcut that you can convert all the four sheets into the table and give the name. You have to do individually else you have to write some macro. So I came on the data and I press control T, T for table. So control T, OK. And then I went to the table design and I'm giving a name to this table. So I say UAE underscore data. I will just copy underscore data. So paste it for the other sheet. I go to the Egypt. You can even do from here. Go to the insert and say table. Pivot table is different. This is the table. That is control T. Okay. And I will go over here and I will rename Egypt underscore data and press enter go to the Oman insert table ok and I came over here and I say Oman underscore data I went to the Kuwait you can press control T as well control T for table and over here I say Kuwait underscore data so the first step is I have renamed all the not renamed but I have converted a data into the table and I have renamed the table name the next step will be you can be on any sheet no problem the first step now your actual work starts is the next step over here will be you will go to the data tab you will go to the get data you will go to from other sources and over here you get one option blank query Remember the path, it's in get data from other sources, blank query. I click on a blank query and my power query editor will open. Here I will write a simple query which will show me the table from my file. So I will say equal, why not I increase it for you so that it becomes very clear. So I say equal what I have pressed control shift plus to zoom and control shift minus to zoom less so i say over here excel and i got the option if you don't get this intellisense option you have to write it but make sure everything is in capital whatever is there like e should be capital c should be capital w should be capital it's a case sensitive so i say equal excel dot current workbook open a bracket close a bracket and just press enter and here this query will show you this are your tables and this are the names of the table now i will tell excel that if any new sheet is added and if the name is underscore data that only you combine so I have to do this one small step I click on this arrow text filter and I say ends with in ends with I will type underscore data so keep rows where name ends with underscore data so wherever it's underscore data is there it will be filtered means it will combine only those rows so that step has come over here now what is the next step now you will click on this arrow can you see this double arrow you click on it and over here you will see all the names of the column which were there in our data so if you don't want to pull any column you can just uncheck it and over here you will uncheck this setting use original column name as prefix otherwise the word content will come before the name of each column so i don't want that i i just want this same name 
so you need to just uncheck this and that's all and you say okay and you will see your entire data has been consolidated i say control shift minus and you will see my data has been consolidated wow lovely now over here if you want to do more transformation like over here you have a transaction date where you have a timing as well so select the column and i say transform and in transform i go to the data type over here and i say convert this only in date wow and my work is done that's all now you have to exit from this power query editor now you have combined so you go to the file and you click on close and load that's all and here you will see a new sheet and your data is there wow oh he has added one more extra column the name of the table if you just you don't want select and say control minus or right click and delete and that's all and your work is done lovely so this way you can combine multiple sheets into one consolidated sheet so that you can create pivot table or apply some formula but make sure you first convert all your data into the table name it properly and then go to the data and go to the blank query thank you so much i hope you have understood it make sure you practice and then go for the next lesson